you guys, so it has been a little bit since I've seen you and I'm so happy to be back. I finally got some lights, which I'm super stoked about. And so now I can film all the time. When it's dark, when it's midnight, when it's snowing, when it's disgusting outside. So hopefully I can get to a regular filming schedule. Also, my background's changed a little bit. I got a free piano. My dad found it on KSL, so super excited about that. Um, also, that's it. That's all my updates. So um, I have a nail tutorial for you today, so let's get to it. All you really need is some nail polish and some metallic Sharpies. So I hope you stay tuned. First off, you need to start with completely dry fingernail polish. It has to be totally dry. Then you can start designing and just draw right on your fingernail polish. So I suggest having a really opaque fingernail polish. That way you don't have to do like a bunch of coats versus like a sheer fingernail polish. So there you go, there you can see my first design. It did not take me long at all. Um, next I decided to do polka dots. You could do hearts, you could do a plaid pattern if you wanted to also use the bronze and the silver sharpie in the set as well. That would be really cute. Um, this next one I decided to do a chevron pattern. So just kind of one little triangle as you can see right here. Um, I'm, I'm not being precise, I'm not being perfect. I don't feel like you need to be. If you do want to be, you could use scotch tape and you could really tape off those angles. Just make sure you don't put the tape over the Sharpie or it will pull it right off. Um, so yeah, so it's not super perfect, but um, you can take it off if you don't like it. So I'm using rubbing alcohol right here. It's 99% rubbing alcohol. And as you can see, it didn't take off my fingernail polish. It just took off the Sharpie. And then I can start again. So if you don't like what you do, you can, you know, try a couple of different designs and it works great. So I did a vertical line, but I decided I didn't like it. So I actually ended up taking that off and I did a heart on my ring finger for my true love. So it worked out pretty good. Then also to finish off the design, you use clear fingernail polish to set the Sharpie. Don't linger while you're doing it. Just make sure to be quick about it or it will take the Sharpie with you. So after you're done with all of your clear fingernail polish, you have a cute design that will last a little while. Thank you. 